Hello Aries and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of March 29th through April 4th and this is a very general reading. Aries. Well, there's a lot of energy here for some of you. You've been really more to yourself and really thinking about either it's relationships or how you're relating with others. There is someone, for some of you, on your mind. For others, this is someone else thinking of you. It could be both ways here, okay? Maybe there's a separation between you and a person, but I do see that energy. There is um, a new way of thinking. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone who exhibits those energies and very, very hard to figure out what this person is about. It's, there's a lot of pondering. For others of you, I see that you have taken some kind of um, leap of faith. This could be you started a business, a new idea, a relationship, whatever it was. And you made these drastic changes and now you're like, okay, where am I going with this? You look, it looks pretty good, but this is like a long-term energy. Things take time. This is you knowing what you want. You know what you want. If you really look deep inside, you will know what you want. Could be dealing with a fire sign energy as well, and I'm not sure what. Just seems like there's a lot of fire to this person. Now, the thing is, make sure that people understand your intentions or why you're upset or why you're happy, you know, because it's like, it is not fair for someone to be, you to be mad at someone and they don't know why. So there's like a lack of communication or there is um, something there or, you know, it's hard to read you is what I'm seeing. Some people may be around you too. So there could be a miscommunication or misinterpretation. Very healing energy is coming through. Okay. So I do see that energy too. Very interesting. It's like a reset button. Okay. And this could be with uh, relationships, all kinds of relationships. Hmm. Wow, for some of, out there is you're taking some ideas. This is like um, a side job, um, a hobby, a side hustle, something that you will start and maybe some of you just setting up for it and it's going to be very lucrative in the future and I do see that. So that's good. I like that for others of you. You know, your wants, your wishes, your daydreams, what you desire. If you start something and you put the work in, it's going to be successful. But there are some of you out there that want to start something, but you want to bypass things. It's like, oh, I want to be a doctor, but I don't want to go to medical school. Okay, can't, that can't happen, right? You have to put the work in. You will get it done. You will be successful. Whoever puts the work in. Um, so I do see that. I do see you could be manifesting a lot, but there's going to be this energy of seeing the reality in some situations. It's like, you know, there is a sense of stubbornness and it's like, no, 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 no. And you know, deep down it's a denial. So it's like really soul searching. And then there is seeing the reality in some kind of situations, okay? So it's like you're creating your own reality, but seeing the reality in the situations. You will be completing some things too, so I do see that. Let's put it this way. The weight that you've been carrying with something, whatever it is, it's going to pay off. It was worth it. But, you know, slow and steady and proceed with caution. Don't make any quick, quick decisions or, you know, because there's a sense of a thought process and perspectives changing. I see very, very happy energy too, okay? So this is like um, have fun, happiness. The only thing is don't overdo a good thing, okay? Like just say you've been on a diet and now you go out with someone or and you're overeating. You know, these are lessons that you've learned. There's a lesson that's, I want to say for some of you, there's lessons that's learned here when it comes to what really makes you happy, okay? 
So that one thing I'm seeing. I do see here, um, yeah, something may make you happy this week, uh, kicking off the week. So I do see very happy energy too. Lessons well learned, yes. Um, some of the obstacles in your path, they are going to um, help, um, help. They will come to, for like these are obstacles and delays, but this is like a lot of wishes, um, desires, they will come to fruition. You just have to stay hopeful. There is spiritual intervention here. It's on divine timing. It's like you're still feeling like you're missing something. There's something that you're missing. You're either praying for it or you're feeling a little alone and empty inside. Um, but, you know, things come in due course of time. Taking your power back is very important. And some of you are. You're going to take more control of your situations. I do see that for some of you, you may get some help here. And this is reaching out to people who um, um, are in authority or someone who has the knowledge or the, um, or the connections. Okay, so I do see help here from someone um, like that. So I do, I do see that energy. Now, for some of you, it's like there's been either a relationship with someone. Um, there could have been an age difference or this person, um, you're not on the same. It's a generation gap or you're not on the same page here. Um, I feel that has come to it. It's going to come to an end if it hasn't already for some of you. Um, I do see that there is an energy here for some of you. It may take some, it may start traveling. Um long distance relationship is showing up here as well and i do see that something something will be completed this is like it's it's interesting this is a lot of relationships showing up here it's like a reset button it's either you change your perspective about some people how you relate with other people um, what your thoughts of our relationship. There is a reset button starting fresh and resetting things or just going back and kind of reviewing things. So I want to say all relationships are showing up here. Um, and there is a karmic um, cycle that's closing up. I do see the world is your oyster, um, Aries. You could really go punch your ticket. Expand it, you know, broaden the horizons. There's a lot out there for you is what I'm seeing too. You're definitely going to be mastering something. Now, I do see that there can be a separation from someone or something, but I do feel that this is just a temporary thing. This is good business deal, good um, money coming through. So I do see that kind of energy as well. For some of you, you could meet somebody who like owns their own business or is pretty wealthy this person can help you out. Um, I do see that energy. This could be just a fluke. And that's not for all of you, but it is showing up. For some of you, this is like you could bump into a celebrity, actually, or someone who's well-known. They may be just in your area. You don't realize it, but I do see that energy, too. Um, you need to take some time for yourself. Relax. Relax the brain. Relax the body. Um, there's a sense of needing to relax because things are going to start moving forward. And I do see... Um, Wow, there's a strong new beginning now for love and relationships. For some of you, love is coming in very, very strongly and a new beginning. It's almost like something different than the usual. It's like, I'm telling you, it's a reset button with relationship. Relationships all in general, there's a reset. It's like reset button. There is some intensity with relationship. For some of you... You may take a relationship to a really um, higher level. For others, this is, you meet someone, it could be just love at first sight, and it's true love to you. You know, it becomes really intense. It could, starts moving really quickly. Uh, the thing is here, yeah, you could be more, you're open more for love. It's like uh, connecting emotionally, spiritually. This could be also loving um, someone just for their, this part, it's like you are very caring, loving with this person. It's like both of you, um, for some of you, is 
it's showing all this emotions and love. For some of you, you can get quite emotional because there is this reset button with um, relationships and it's like kind of pondering it. Could be dealing with a water sign energy as well. So I do see that energy too. For some of you, this is, you could just meet someone who you click with and this is like a new friend. It's like you're on the same wavelength with this person is very, very understanding. Aries, it's a reset button with relationships. It's different ways of thinking, new ways, new beginnings, definitely. Okay. All right, Aries. Um, this is a reading for the week of March 29th through April 4th. For all Aries who have a birthday this week, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. I did post those uh, the solar year reading for you. And also, I do post um, daily birthdays, daily pick-a-card readings, too, um, on Instagram. And, um, yeah, for everyone else, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll catch you back next week here for your next Coffee Cup reading. Have a great week. And bye for now.